Hello, Xavier here. I am here with Silver, and we are going to play another episode of Pokemon Renegade Platinum Casual Play. <laughs> and you just gotta insert the casual play, just just so people know it's not a randomized Nuzlocke. But hey, yeah. if you guys can get this entire Pokemon Renegade Platinum series and series by the playlist to 100 likes, we'll do a randomized Nuzlocke version of this. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> well, that 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 means that if there's a hundred episodes and every episode has one like, that means we do one. But that that has to mean the entire series, just the entire series. Mm -hmm. um, of course, if it does reach that goal, then that's good. But well, damn. Um, the only thing is, we'll have to wait till we end this series. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So uh, nothing really happened from last episode. We didn't really grind or anything. We literally just record as soon as we ended the last one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're back again here. I just have my Shanks and my Piplup, and I believe you only have your Azuril and your Eevee and your Chimchar, correct? As your I have, main player. I have four Pokemon currently right now. What do you have? I have a Chimchar. I have my Eevee. I have a Starly, and I have my Ooh, Azuril. I, for I forgot about Starly actually. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's jump right into it. I'm gonna go right into the Pokemon School. That's where I am right now. Uh, there's a Pokeball. Yeah, here. I'm I'm headed up there to Jubilee. Ooh, I got a Scope Lens, which is pretty cool. Um, who do I want to give that to though? Let's see. Uh, increases critical hit. I'm gonna give that to X-Ray. And here's Barry. I want to Barry. Here's Chizo right here, but do I want to fight him? Because I feel like he's going to be... I don't know if we fight him here or after this. To the right? No, to the uh, to the parcel thing. Okay, he gave me the time map. There we go. Now we're no, right. I, don't, I don't think I want anything in this world, ironically. Okay, here's the Poketech guy. Okay, I got the Poketech, which right away, which is pretty cool. They, they don't even let you do the uh, event thing. Which is good. Oh, that thing God. was annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go get the um, the fishing rod, the the old rod. Mm -hmm. I got the oh, old I didn't rod. Think about it. Magikarp's actually getting kind of good. Ooh, he also gives you dive balls. Dive. Interesting. So he gives you dive balls, and he gives you. Um... I don't know why I went into my Pokemon. I went over my bag. He oh gives you God, ten. He, setting up. Bro, oh. he gives you ten dive balls, which is actually pretty cool. Now, do I want to go fishing? No, I kind of have already a really good water type Pokemon, but yeah, <laughs> that's my reasoning. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's honestly that's honestly the only reasoning I can give. <laughs> I know you probably need a water type though. So, well, actually, no, you have a zero, which is a really good one. The water fairy. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually gonna go south, not south, north, and I'm gonna see if I can catch a mon over here. See what kind of mons they have here. You know what else? Uh, I forgot we also have the, uh, we can look at the... Ooh, we got a Bidoo here. Do I want a grass type Bidoo? I don't think I do. I don't want Bidoo as a grass type. Well, I gotta think about their evolution, Rose Raid, but... Again, shiny stone? Yeah. <laughs> It'll mm -hmm. take a while to get that. Unless they give you one uh, much faster in this ROM hack. Not really sure. Alright, let's go with X ray. I'm just trying to. Uh, only two mons, so I am kind of like level 11 ish. Because I. You know, the less mons you have, the higher level they're going to be. The more mons, the more you spread the. Uh, you know, the experience around. Unless you got a favorite and you're just like, okay, I'm just going to focus on my Azuru. <laughs> I mean... <clears throat> you're, like, you're like, oh damn, he figured me out. <laughs> what? <laughs> you're like, you're going to be using Azuru for a while? Yeah, I want to get its uh, affection up. Because, yeah. Or not affection, its friendship up. Right, yeah. Because yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how you evolve it into Meryl. You do, yeah. And then a Meryl evolves into Zumeril at like level 20. Which is going to be pretty close because if friendship, uh, depending on the friendship, I, 
if you keep using it, you should be able to evolve it by the second gym, if I'm not mistaken. And by then, mm -hmm. we'll sh we should have level 20-ish Pokemon, so it works out. <laughs> I don't. Hmm. Flying type, flying type. What kind of flying type do I want? I'm thinking Zubat, just because it's a poison type as well. I can give that extra coverage. And a Crobat's not too bad either. Yeah, Crobat's not all that bad. Yeah, it's actually uh, it's got good. really good defensive typing. Yeah, it does. Let so. me actually um. It's cool that they give you every single Poke Attach um thing here. Every Poke Chip. Yeah, you get it right away. Everything. No. Nice. Every, every app. Never oh. seen you before. Obtain Pokemon's. Time. Uh, Link Seeker. What the fuck? Whoa, what's up? You know the the the, the cowgirl that's in the trainer school? Yeah. She gives you an egg. What? Yeah. Well, damn. Wait, was she? She was never there, huh? No, she wasn't there. Bro, we gotta talk to every NPC then. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay then. Um, yeah, I'm, I was just looking through the uh, the poke attach things. I'm gonna leave it in my mm -hmm. party, but I was just looking and seeing if there's anything we can break. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm just gonna talk. Oh, we can learn hidden power from the psychic. Yeah. Oh no, she'll just tell you what the hidden power is. What the heck? It's already hatching. Wait, what? I gotta smudge him. Yeah, hold on, let me look at this egg. <laughs> what, what the fuck? It will hatch soon. What, what the, the fuck? The hatch fuck? it, bro. I gotta smudge him. I'm guessing you're gonna get the same thing, but still. <laughs> it's probably gonna be a smooch him, yeah. <laughs> well, we got a fairy ice type. Wait, is it fairy ice? It's psychic ice. Psychic ice, there you go. Well, I, mean, I guess there's my psychic problem right there. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's not bad. McCullough it's just kiss. pretty slow. Yeah. I don't know why I'm doing it with my remote when I can just do it like that. There you go. I called mine's kiss kiss. Kiss what? kiss. Kiss kiss. Yep. Uh, mine's an impetch nature. Decreases this. Uh, increases defense. Decreases special attack. Uh, Oof. Yeah. And, what the <laughs> heck? Look at its ability. What? Is that is that is that like a normal ability or is that like a hidden ability? I don't know. Ooh. Hydration heals status Pokemon if it is raining. <laughs> what the fuck? I uh, know. What the heck? <laughs> what the, on, what the fuck? Hydration. <laughs> Yo, what? Interesting. This is quite interesting. Wow, okay then. <laughs> Alright, that's interesting. Um, Apparently that's its hidden ability. Is it? Interesting. Yeah. That's... Okay. It hydrates. What's Jinx ability? Well, yeah, what's Jinx ability? Is it Dry same? skin. Is it the same? Wait, so it, so it loses its uh, HP with uh, he, right? It, yeah, it loses its HP in the sun, but it'll it'll restore HP in the water. Does the Kanto region Saffron Sin have an active fighting type gym? No. Keep it going. Question number three. Professor Oak is a well-known Pokemon researcher based on the Kanto region. And his full name is Samson Oak. I thought it was Samuel Samson Oak. Yeah, it's Samuel, oh. isn't it? Yeah. It's not Samsung, it's Samuel. Electrotrap, yes. No, and then it's no again for that, because I was like, isn't it Samuel Oak? On the Sebi Island, wait, wait, is it. You, where are you answering these questions? Go to the Pokemon Center on the left, there's these little reporters, they're asking you questions. I guess it's a little mini game. On the Sebi Islands, is it true that the trainer tower is on the Seven Island? I don't know this. Is the that true? Sevy Island? Yeah, on the Sevy Islands. Is it true that the trainer tower is on the Seventh Island? 
is it? Uh, yeah, it is, it is, yeah, it is. I, I answered it. Do you think you can beat me in a Pokemon battle? Yes. We'll see if your answer is correct and you get into a battle with them. Okay. Oh, switch. Damn! That Bulbasaur level. Oh, don't tell Wait, me if you win. Wait, I do. Wait a minute. Do they give you beginners, like starters? Because she has a Bulbasaur level 5. I wonder if that's a thing. Wait. Charmander. Why can I get a Badoo? You got a Badoo? Yeah, I got a Badoo. From where? The egg. Really? What? Yeah. Wait, what? Wait. Wait, wait so... What's it to... Wait, what? Really? Yeah, it's so hidden I... ability is Leaf Guard. So is it... Randomized for the egg? Interesting. I think it may be in... It probably is then. Maybe by the beginner, by the starter you choose. Maybe. For some some amount of circumstances, because uh You've won the grand prize. Since stupendous work, young trainer. The grand prize of this quiz is the three Pokemon I just battled you with. <gasps> I get to choose either Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Wow, this is uh well there's my fire. Oh, oh. oh. What well, I don't need Leafy on then, because <laughs> I received Bulbasaur. Okay. I got I got a Bulbasaur. Oh, okay. Wait, so that means... No, no. So I got Piplup, right? And they gave mm -hmm. me a Bulbasaur. Meaning if you go over there, you're going to get a Squirtle. Oh, I'm going to get a Squirtle. Yeah, because I got a Bulbasaur. Unless there's more other factors that they take into consideration. Unless I just well, messed it up. I... Or... Because currently, I, oh uh, well, I guess either way. Because I technically don't have a a uh, a water type on my team. Because Azuril isn't water type. So I'm gonna call this guy Kodama. Kodama. Fun games TV station. Yeah, so talk to the girl. Uh, next, we have lizard Pokemon. Like Wait, they guess. give you they give you all the the the, the bit starters. I'm I just got Charmander. I thought I was what? Was <laughs> what the Kansas City Star Crunch City? What? They give you all the starters, bro. I okay. I probably shouldn't have spoken earlier. Okay, well I got a Charmander. What, what's his name again? It's Samuel Oak. Right? Yeah, it's Samuel Oak. That's why I was like, it's not Samsung Oak. Samuel. So it's a no for that that's... answer. That's his cousin, isn't it? Yeah, that's his cousin. That's crazy, bro. What the heck? We get some fucking starters. What the heck? I mean, I got... When I get a shiny stone, I'm gonna get a freaking technician rose raid. <laughs> really? Yeah. How do you know that? Because that's its hidden ability, and your smoochin had its hidden ability, so that's why true. wouldn't my... Uh... Oh, that's true! You're right, you're right. Now that I think about it, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was still, I'm still, like, baffled at the fact that we have freaking the the Gen 1 starters. Mm-hmm. I wonder what happens when I talk to the other dude, but I, I'm still naming these guys. Call you Doragon. Very original name. <laughs> <laughs> Doragon. That's how you say dragon in, in, Jap in, Jap in Japanese. <laughs> Lizardon. <laughs> Doragon. What was the, the Japanese name for your squ Oh, I got a female squirtle. Interesting. For what? I got a female squirtle. Uh, for uh. For Squirtle again, it was, uh, what was it you named it? It's Zenigame. Zenigame. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Well, it's a female. It doesn't seem like a female name, weirdly. Well, it's also just, it's Japanese name. So. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, Zenigame, right? Yeah, Z-E-N-I. And then game. And then game. Awesome. Good job, Game Freak. 
Okay, and well, when you're ready to receive at those prizes, holy crap, bro! She literally gives you three starters, bro. Oh, and they're carrying. Whoa! Okay, so I got Kodama, which is my Bulbasaur with a Miracle Seed. Has the? They all have their um, their hidden abilities as well. I got Doragon, mm -hmm. my Charmander with Charcoal. Oh wait, there my Chlorophyll is the. Uh, Wait, no, wait a minute. What's what's the regular ability for like starters for the grass type? What is it again? Overgrow, torrent, blaze. Okay, because my char my uh Bulbasaur has its hidden ability, but Charmander and Squirtle have the regular um abilities. So there's a chance that your Squirtle might have the hidden ability. Well, that's battle armor. So, so it's not bad. Or shell armor, I think. Oh, they just leave after they give you the Pokemon. Okay. Both of them. Well, I'm going to definitely keep um, Bulbasaur because that's my grass type right there. That's a good grass right there. I do have fire type Charmander, but I don't want to have to go around walking around with two Gen 1 starters. <laughs> um, I wouldn't mind keeping Bulbasaur though. Squirtle, I'm sorry, I already have... I am. I, you know what, I'll take your item though. I'll, I'll take the items for Charmander and... Um, mm -hmm. and Squirtle. So, uh, we'll keep... Timid! This Badoo is timid. Is oh, it? but it has natural cure. That sucks. The Badoo? It doesn't have its uh, hidden ability? No. Oh, so I guess they just have a, a chance of, like, a higher chance of getting... Oh, okay, now I remember. Um, so, Pokemon now have a chance to actually have their hidden abilities um, instead of, like, getting hidden abilities through their natural means. So, any Pokemon that has a hidden ability, you can find them with their hidden ability. So, if they have two regular abilities and two and one hidden ability, there's a one out of three chance that it has its hidden ability. If a Pokemon has one hidden ability and one and regular ability, it has a 50% chance of having even its hidden ability. I think that's how it works. Do not quote me on it, but I, so far from what I've seen, I think that's the case. Mm. Kodama has a... Uh, I got Kiss Kiss. X, I like how three of my Pokemon have like... Two of my Pokemon have like Japanese names and then I got two Pokemon, X-Ray and Kiss Kiss. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, well... Um, Interesting. So I got my Bulbasaur. I was like, I, I was actually happy with Bulbasaur, but I did not know you could get all three of them like that. Because I, I was like, wait, I, we sh we should start talking to every M NPC, right? And I was like, hmm, those reporters are never there in the original game. Let me talk to them. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then that just happens. I was like, what the heck? Yeah, I'm gonna go around just talking to every NPC. <laughs> you got some free mods for me? <laughs> wait, they say keep in touch. In Floruma in Orbert Town. That's probably where we get Gen 2 and Gen 3 Pokemon then. Maybe. And and by that I mean the starters. So, uh, yeah. Interesting. So we'll eventually get them. Okay. So my Bulbasaur has Chlorophyll. My Charmander has Solar Power. But my Squirtle still has Torn. Is it? Does it? Yeah. I gotta save. <laughs> Wait. Oh. These abilities kind of suck. <laughs> well, which ones did you get? My not abilities. I mean the uh, the natures. Oh, the natures. Yeah. With the exception of Bulbasaur, who just has a plain nature. So I know for my Bulbasaur, it has Brave, which increases attack and de decreases speed. Speed isn't really a necessity for me when it comes to Bulbasaur, or in this case, Venusaur. But I know, I think, isn't it Venusaur like a special attacker or no? Yes, it is a special attacker. Okay, well... It, it doesn't. At least it doesn't decrease that back, which is not bad for me. Okay, interesting. 
Nice. Well, that that's a very unique spin. I, why do mm -hmm. I feel like my character is going regular speed now? Because of how big Jubilife is. Ah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's what it is. <laughs> Just the, the bigness of the map. Yeah, it's like, oh, well, we're not going to slow you down, but we're just going to put you back to regular speed. <laughs> I guess that's one up about having a speed well, set up game. Fast. But yeah, it's just match perfect. That's why it's fun. Gyarados okay. is really good as a Pokemon, especially with the physical special split being in this game. Ah, yes. But I'm planning to have an Azumarill with huge power, which is... <laughs> You're like better, far better, opinion. and it's a fairy type, so you already have a way to yeah. counteract those dragon types. Oh, yeah, there so you go. I'm going to 204 to see where you catch there. I'm, I'm, I think I'm in 204 fighting trainers. Well, I am actually. I don't think I know. I'll be doing that soon. So. <laughs> well, damn, I only have two good moms. I, we really, I think after this episode, we'll do like some offhand grinding because. I have Kiss Kiss, which is my level 1 Smoochum, and I got Kodama, which is my Bulbasaur at level 5. We definitely need to train them. I would have kind of laughed if I had gotten an Azumarill from that <laughs> That would have been funny, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That would have been something. Because ability is Sap Zipper, Yeah. Which is all... It's good, but in only certain situations. Yeah. Like if they use Absorb on you. Yeah. Bell sprout. It'll raise my attack, which yeah. is kind of good, but I'd rather just hit the power. Growth. Bite. All I know is that gym leaders have a full team of six here, so um, we gotta get ready for that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. Y yeah, yeah. I remember I told you, but that was like literally a month ago when we were deciding on the series. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's a good thing I just remembered. I'm like, oh yeah, gym leaders have a full team now. <laughs> but just imagine the possibilities for Rourke. I got critical hit. Uh, well, I, I gave the critical hit. Nice. I believe, what is this? Smoochum evolves through friendship as well, right? No, it evolves at level 30. Does it? Okay, good. Okay, not bad. That makes things much easier for me. <laughs> yeah. I was like, like when when I noticed that the speed went down for Jubilife, I, w I was scared. I was like, uh, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, Trainer. Do you wish, do you know how much? Holy crap, you only w already want to learn Flame Wheel? Who? Oh, you're Chimchar? That was a dumb question. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, who? I'm like, all right, Chimchar. <laughs> <laughs> how about the only fire type I have in my team? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I got another potion off him. I was like, ooh, I forgot there's an item over here I can get. In Jubilife. There's an item Actually, on Actually, now that I think about it, Special Infernape isn't that bad. It's not? not because bad. it's both of its attacking stats are like the same. So. Yeah. But I got Water I Pulse! I got a Monferno now that knows Mach Punch. So... If, you, if you want Water Pulse, go to the route where you can fish on the left of Jubilife. If I want water pulse? Yeah, I got water pulse. Oh, right, and there's infinite amount of, uh, 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 you, you can use them as many times as you want. OTMs are infinite? Yeah, what the heck? No rock smash needed. Oh, yeah, no, belt. yeah, there's, there's, uh, things, yeah, that, yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Damn, there's so much. Okay, so I got, I gave water pulse to my, they give you 99, um, of every TM when you get one. Um, kid, uh, Kiss Kiss can learn Water Pulse. What the heck? That's not bad because that's good water coverage, like coverage for fire types and rock types. Yeah, it's not terrible. So I'll I'll give Kiss Kiss that. I don't know if uh, is it Jinx a special attacker or? It's it's so much a special attacker. Okay. It's not even funny. Okay. So wait, you said it's a special attacker or no? <laughs> Sorry.
Bruh. Yes, it's a special attack. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Implement me now. <laughs> Oh man! Jesus oh man! Okay, so I, I I've, I've got water pulse, which is pretty cool. So if you want to get that for one of the amans, uh, go to the uh, west of uh, Jubilife. Yeah. Which is not bad. I gave it to my Piplup and my um. And my other mon. PC, just because I don't see me, myself using it anytime soon. You said what? I said I'm putting Badu in the PC. Ah, until later on. <laughs> Well, I just don't see myself using it. Rose Rate's a good Pokemon. Yeah, it is. I just don't see myself using I, it. I feel like we can get better grass type. That's why I just like... Especially now that Renegade is a thing here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, you can literally... Oh, get out of the way. Goddamn people. NPCs, bro. Um, I feel like you can get a lot better. You were here before. You can't do anything. What the heck? There's no rocks? Yeah, that's what I was just saying, dumbass. <laughs> There's no rocks in the cave. Well, that's interesting. That means we can skip the first gym. <laughs> I don't think we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, where'd you think you're going? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get the Zubat. Just don't kill it. I use Spark. I'm a dumbass. Why Why'd I do that? I definitely killed it. Yep. You already have Spark? Jesus. Yeah, I know, right? Expert Bell, nice, not bad. Does Shinx give attack EVs? Shinx attack EVs? I'm not sure. Um, uh, maybe? What did I get? I, I just got, I got rock to him. Large boulders are... Who There's also this? an Expert Belt in there, so don't forget that. Oh yeah, I got it, definitely. What does that do? Let me check. Um, uh, uh, it does give attack EVs. It is a well-worn belt that slightly boosts the power of super effective moves. I will give that to Kiss Kiss. She has the most coverage. Because mm -hmm. she has um, Water Fairy. Well, she has Ice, Ghost, and Water moves right now. So. Uh, I think I'll hold up oh, on the know for now. You know what? What? <laughs> We need to do the Rotom thing. Oh yeah, definitely. We definitely want to do that. We need to witness the hauntings and the uh, the uh, Rotom event. Definitely. Because that's it. I mean, it, Rotom grass is would be good coverage. Let's go over here. I, I think there's a few. Let me go in here. I think you can get a quick claw from this lady right here. Yep, there you go. I got the quick claw. I talk to every NPC now. I swear to God, it's just like <laughs> it's like we, we got two, two, like literally four free Pokemon in just one video. <laughs> like that does not happen. I think that is everybody in Duba Life. Big town, but you can go to many, many, very, very little buildings. You still there? <laughs> yeah, I'm still there. I'm okay. just reading through old okay. chat to stuff. I was like, I was like, I was like, are you, are you there? <laughs> I was like, did the call fall? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got literally one, two, three Pokemon with their hidden abilities. Interesting. What's does Shinx have a hidden ability? I think he's got that. Uh, if it does, I'm not aware of it. Guts. It gets guts? Yeah, guts. I know, right? Yeah, I'm fine with Intimidate. Helps me out anyways. <laughs> Okay, let's mm -hmm. let's fight this dude right here. Chizo, what's up, my man? Let's see what he has. He has three Pokemons. That is not a thing in the in the last game, is it? He has two Mons in the last one, doesn't he? Well, at least he came out with a Starly first. I can just spark you. What's his next Mon? A Munchlax. Okay, wait. He does not have a Munchlax in the original first battle. Did no, I... not in the original battle, but he does get one. 
Yeah, eventually. <clears throat> oh, you have war. Oh. Gonna go with that water pulse. Damn, bro. And That's actually a him. really strong move for a solution. Water pose. Bro, he keeps using rock to him. That's actually really hurting me. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I'm gonna have to bring in a different Pokemon. Kodama, you're gonna have to take a hit. Ooh, tackle. I'm gonna go with Growl. Okay, and now I'm gonna go with Shinx again and lower his attack even more. Munchak is actually a problem. Like I'm, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god, he has a fucking potion. God damn it. There we go. Good lord. Turtwig. When the fine group. Kiss, kiss. I, you're not gonna be able to do much, but we'll at least be able to get powder snow off of you, hopefully. Oh no. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go with X ray again. Lower his attack. Then I'm gonna go to Tag Khan. Tag Khan. He's gonna go with the Red Leaf. God damn it. Okay, I only have one mod. This guy is not easy to take down. Let me just let you know. This is actually a tough <laughs> battle. <laughs> I lost three out of my four Pokemon already. <laughs> oh, wait, Barry? He, yeah. Damn. He has Curse at level 11. Just letting you know, oh my god, it's Turtwig. Oh, for Turtwig? Yes. But I'm not fighting him. I know, but he's still strong. <laughs> I'm sure that... Why did you let him set up? I, I, I didn't. I was switching out to decrease his attack, and he just hits me with Curse now. Uh, he has... Oh my I god. Really Fucking That's hell, bro. That's this is not good. Come on, bite! Oh, I got a critical hit. Hell yeah, that was a lucky shot. I swear to God. Wait, I get not, if I did not get that critical hit, do not heal. If I did not, oh, two critical hits at one, at the same time. X-ray, you are destroying them. Hell yeah, that's amazing. The tackle is forty. Quick attack is forty. I'd rather do that. X-ray's at fifteen. Oh, X-ray's evolving. Nice. My first evolved Pokemon is Shinx. That's crazy. Can't believe I have a little 15 already before the first gym. <laughs> Damn, what? What? What do you mean I lost? What's it? That's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm going to go world's toughest trainer, you know? Oh yeah, Xavier, there were two of another item in the parcel. Here, you have one. He gives you the XP share. He gives you a speecher right afterwards? After you beat him, yes. Uh -huh. That's actually very helpful. I'm going to give that to Kiss Kiss. That's actually Oh, helpful. he has Water Pulse. Oh, it's Jesus. Okay, so... That, and an Orange Bear? It's a good thing I had a Bite with me. Oh my... The Bite was really good for that battle. Well, I just lost this fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not easy at all. That Munchlax can take some hits. Well, I, it wasn't even the Munch... Uh, I don't have any coverage for Piplup. Oh. Right, you don't have any... Wait, well, why, why don't you use Bidoo for now? I Like, I literally used one of my Pokemon as fodder. Like, I used my Bulbasaur as fodder. That way I can get a Growl from him, and then I switched out after he died, and got another Intimidate. On Munchlax, I reckon take his thing down, cause that yeah. thing was like really fucking bulky. I had a uh, bro. I think the hardest out of all of those three Pokemon for me was the Turtwig, cause he set up bad. If I didn't get lucky with two critical hits in a row, I probably would have lost it. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I That's probably would. Crazy that he I know. Had, uh, curse, though. He usually doesn't get cursed until. Uh, what? The? Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's a throttle. He's silk scarf. No, no, no. There's a there's a shroomish here. Shroomish seems hungry. It might want an orange berry. Wait, if I give it an orange berry, does it join my team? If that's the case, fuck Bulbasaur. I'll get the shroomish. <laughs> 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 Even though Bulbasaur is like objectively so much better. But I mean, 
Everybody gotta give Berloom some love. It's a fighting grass type. It's good coverage for me. Well, yeah, <laughs> so is Verizon. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> it, this is Gen 4. It's Berloom. Bro, it's sh that's interesting. There's so much you can do here. So I guess if we get an Ormberry, we can uh, get get it maybe? Interesting. Where okay. the There's more trainers in this route. And I got Endure oh, as a oh. TM. You got Endure as yeah. a TM? Yes, right in the... After you beat... Um... Okay, I see what they did. They they actually moved one of the trainers to do a double battle over here. Okay. Mm. They're forcing you into a grass, basically. <laughs> like, oh, do you want a battle? No? Okay, go around. <laughs> I definitely want to get that shroomish though. Mm -hmm. Bidoof, nope. I'm I'm wondering where I can get an orm berry because I know there's berries, but I don't know where you can get the first orm berries. Not even think about it. Me neither. Because I know like orm berries, petra berries are like very common when you go into the uh, and you get the 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 berries and stuff. But mm -hmm. why, why didn't I? Okay, he used fake out. Okay, I'm gonna use peck. Well, I can't you know wait. What I think is the funniest thing. What? <laughs> There's a one third chance that your uh, female Azuril turns into a male. Yeah. Into a male male. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's funny. Bro, well, you have a male Azuril though, right? No, I have a female. Bro, what if. Bro, that'd be so funny. What the fuck? How did I miss two? Oh, sand attack. I fucking died, bro. Wait, hold on. Let me check Zuro real quick. Okay, these sure is a friendship revolution, isn't it? Water pulse, water pulse. Take it down. Oh, I got the confuse ray. Confusion on it. Okay, no problem. Use use water pulse again. Kiss, kiss. You can do it. Yes, kiss, kiss gets extra, extra. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it evolves into a Zumoral at level 18. What the fuck? <laughs> I, well, dude, I can literally have fucking power directly <laughs> after the first gym. Nice. And the chop, bro. I just got confusion. I, I can somehow get... Oh, fuck. I died. Meryl. God damn it. Kodama. Kodama. Let's go. Use Vine Whip. I'm using the weak Pokemon so I can get some a lot. experience. Get that experience. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to switch out now. <laughs> I just whipped fucking Machop with a Vine Whip. He just took it like a champ. He's like, yeah, that ain't gonna hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Spark to do some real damage. There we go. Hell yeah. Yeah, Kodama to level six. I need to heal my Mons. Wow, that battle was insane. What the hell? That was actually insane. I was I was like I was like trying to get to the next town. I was like, ah, oh, damn, I won't be able to. <laughs> There's a lot of these trainers. I I need to. We need to train like definitely, our, like our smaller Pokemon, the new ones that just that we just have now. Yeah. Okay. Well, we are at the 38 minute mark. <laughs> wow, that went by quick. We're still not on the on uh, fucking next town. That's crazy. Well, uh, I'm. Really? I've just been biking around. <laughs> Alright, let me save and we can end the episode here. Episode 2, already done. Nice. Wow. This is going to be a long series because usually by episode 2 we're on the next town. <laughs> what? I said usually by episode 2 we're on the next town, next to Jibble Life. But... Well, when we're doing a Nuzlocke and there's only certain things we can do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not used to this pace compared to like mm -hmm. Nuzlocke's I, I it's it's a good pace because it's like you can take it easy because well you have no no choice but to take it easy these Pokemon trainers are no joke <laughs> uh but uh guys episode two of this series is now done uh oh, we got the quick claw. oh you got the quick claw? yeah I got that yeah. it's a good thing I have a little bit of knowledge of what items to get in that town quick claw and then there's another potion on the on the west of Jubilife. Yeah. Alright guys. Well thank you guys for watching today's episode of the Pokemon Platinum Renegade. Rom hack. Mm -hmm.
the casual play, of course. <laughs> Again, if you yeah. want to see a randomized Nuzlocke, uh, if you want to see, to see a Nuzlocke play, uh, just let just get a hundred likes for the entire series. Tell your friends, <laughs> tell your mom, tell your grandma, share. Tell your it, pet hamster. Yeah, tell your pet hamster. Hell. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, guys, we'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. I uh, don't know which one will come first, but it's most likely a video. Hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever we update again. See you guys next time. Ciao. Later.